my name is Victoria and today I will be telling you about um, Big Little Leagues. Um, so let's get started. What is Big Little Leagues? Big Little Leagues is a reality TV series that will turn a lackluster little league game into a professional looking event. Um, each episode is a showcase of talented young athletes doing what they do best, playing sports and being kids. The goal is to introduce a new way to enjoy sport through the eyes and honesty of a child. What is the content? Each season will consist of 20 to 25 episodes. Every season, the sport will change. The first season will be basketball. Each episode will be an almost exact replica of a real sporting event, beginning with the commentators introducing the game, giving player histories, and talking about the team as a whole. All commentators and analysts on-air personalities and athletes will be children. Um, the only exceptions will be the coaches, um, guest speakers, and the adults who come and watch the, the kids play. So what are the strengths of this plan? The strengths of Big Little Leagues is that we're using cheap platforms like Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook to promote and advertise the show. This plan is about building up an interest in the series to sell to networks and streaming service streaming services. We're leveraging this idea with followers and general interest. Big Little Leagues holds value in the idea and the mass audience we will obtain through marketing and promotional efforts. So the rationale for this business. Um, one, the political climate. Um, right now we're seeing kind of a very divided society um, and so I think this is the perfect show for um, where we are where we are right now as a society um, because this show is going to promote inclusion and kindness and obviously sports is notorious for bringing people together regardless of color sex age nationality or religion um, so two social factors people are becoming more socially aware and people are starting to turn on reality TV for depicting unrealistic standards of beauty and drama um, and my program is not about glam, fashion, or drama that only the rich 1% with deal with. Mine is very relatable. So according to Statista, there are 120.6 million TV homes in the United States for the 2019 to 2020 TV season. Um, and according to Psychology Today, reality shows, the staple of network and capable cable television alike clearly appeal to a broad range of viewers. Opportunity, um, so there's an opportunity um, here of turning a reality show into something people perceive as fake, into something that people think is honest. So I included um, the survey here where 72% of adults said that reality TV is so technology. Um, modern technology is going to allow Big Little Leaks to become an immersive experience. Filming it like a sporting event, having HD replays and um, high-tech game equipment like Hawkeye is going to make the viewer see this as a quality product and encourage them to continue watching. Um, also, with the advancements in technology, it's going to give Big Little Leaks so many opportunities and it's going to allow us to leverage this idea because... Um, Professional sports like the NBA turned into NBA 2K, so people were able to play to be able to play as their favorite players on a video game. Um, as well as we know that NBA teams are looking at selling season tickets through um, VR, so that is an opportunity that we can um, leverage in negotiation environment. Um, my business does not require a massive factory or the use of raw materials. Um, my product is content, so I will not have a big environmental impact, and due to the fact that the show revolves around children and teaching them the fundamental goods of sportsmanship and citizenship, um, we can also implement an element of teaching them about environmental awareness, which is a big opportunity for us. Um, so the value of my company will come from viewership. The more viewers I have during the advertising and promotional stages, the more money I will make and the more I can sell the idea to a big network. Big Little Leaks is very rare. There is no reality series on the market like it. The closest series to Big Little Leaks is Dance Moms, and they are no longer producing episodes. 
Um, Big Little Leagues is inimitatable because you cannot recreate a child personality without it coming off as inauthentic. Um, so that makes it extremely rare. The organization of my company will be extremely easy to maintain because we're going to start off small. I will have 13 employees solely focused on advertising, marketing, and giving the idea of Big Little Leagues value. So, Big Little Leagues mission statement. Big Little Leagues mission is to enrich each chosen community by broadcasting personalities that are innocent, humorous, and honest. It is to showcase young talent and promote tolerance, diversity, and communication. The vision of Big Little Leagues is to entertain and inspire people through the minds of young children and the spirit of sport. So the values. The values of Big Little Leagues are quality. We provide an outstanding product, one that is meaningful and entertaining. Not only will it surpass the honesty and quality of other TV shows, but it will also change the standard of reality TV. Integrity. We plan on only showcasing the honest reaction and lives of these young children. Respect. We want to encourage kindness and inclusiveness to everyone who watches and participates in the TV show. Teamwork. We will create a TV show that depicts good teamwork as well as create and sustain the show through good teamwork. Diversity. We plan to be as inclusive as we want our viewers to be. Accountability. We are responsible for what we put out into the world and we take full pride and accountability behind all creative works. Passion. We are passionate about what we do because we are shaping future mi minds and hopefully shaping the ones watching at home. Leadership. We are all responsible for creating a better future for future young athletes. So our strategic goals. Um, our biggest goal would, will be to garner a big following through social media, creating vibrant, um, a vibrant Instagram page, YouTube, and TikTok account. Um, on our Instagram, we will post short interviews of kids, um, so you can get them to you can get to know them a little bit. And the full interviews will go on YouTube. Um, TikTok will be used as a funny creative platform where we will post these kids doing trendy challenges or even creating their own challenges. Um, Facebook will be utilized, but mostly for the purposes of informing and targeting the local community of the first season and the following seasons. So Facebook will be more tailored for adults, whereas the other platforms will be targeting both adults and children. So another goal of Big Little Leagues is to create a relationships with the local schools and new stations of each season pick. Um, we would like to build long-lasting relationships with teachers and news directors so that as the seasons continue and as the business starts to grow, they will keep that in mind and continue to promote us. Um, I would also like to form a partnership with platforms like Hulu, HBO, and ESPN. So our operational plan, um, the timeline, the first six months will be heav heavily um, focused on marketing. So as you can see, we'll be using Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, website promotion, blog promotions, um, sponsored content. We will also have a series of press releases. Um, we will follow the structure of press release one and two. So one in the first three months and then two in the following three months. So a total of six months of heavily marker of heavy marketing. So um, the product will be provided on ESPN Network and Hulu subscription service. Um, I chose ESPN because it is a reputable sports network, so it will give my show legitimacy. Also, ESPN does um, reality TV because sports is reality TV and this falls under the umbrella of sports. Um, Hulu is the number one TV streaming subscription service, and I wanted to do both TV and subscription because there is a huge market for subscription um, as you can see over here in the numbers so location first season will be in Texas and we will be following the best youth basketball team and we'll be renting out college facilities or convention centers to host their game um, when each episode will air on Sunday because according to Statista Americans watch the most TV on Sundays 
um, the episodes will air every Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern and where the product will be provided through a television network and subscription service. Um, social media will not have episodes. It w rather, it will be about athletes' lives outside of the show. So the legal structure, um, I'll be utilizing the LLC legal form structure. Um, by using this form, I'll be able to protect myself from liability, liability while at the same time using another company's manageable format. Um, competitor analysis. So my biggest competitor will be Overtime. Overtime um, TV is a sports network for the younger generation of fans. Overtime has 1.5 billion viewers per month, 30 million plus followers across all of their seven platforms, and they do a great thing where they have specific shows for specific fans. So you can look up football, you can look up soccer, you can look up women's basketball, men's basketball. Um, so they'll be my biggest competitor for sure. Um, target audience. My target audience is age 25 to 49 and lives in the United States. I chose this age group because they're very receptive to mobile and media advertisements. Also, um, Dance Moms has a high viewerships from adults aged 25 to 49 and that show is most closely related to mine. So the price for Big Little Leagues will be included in bundles from different networks. I do not want to directly sell to the consumer. I would like to sell to TV shows and networks. Um, in addition to selling my show to networks, I'll be posting content on YouTube, Instagram, and our own website. Um, through those things, I will not be directly charging the viewer. Rather, YouTube pays channels per view, and um, YouTube also generates revenue by posting advertisements. Um, so we will primarily be using social media for advertising. Monthly ad spending on Instagram is about 1500 and posting is free. Not only we, will we advertise on our own social media page, but the players and players' parents will use their social media to educate people about the show. Um, Big Little Leagues will seek sponsorship from businesses that are consistent with our mission. We want to advocate for equality, integrity, and diversity. We're also passionate about kids living a healthy lifestyle. Um, due to the fact that our TV series is about st sport and competition, we will be hosting a series of social media competitions where we will pick one winner every two weeks and post them on our platform as well as give them free tickets to go watch um, the game when the show starts. Financial plan. Um, startup expenses will be primarily payroll, advertising, marketing, insurance, and legal fees. Um, I will need to have a full-time web designer and content creator. Um, I chose not to hire a full-time marketing manager because I would like to hire a marketing consultant group to work closely with interns who are working um, for credit. Um, and... Our interns will be experts in Twitter, Facebook, design, Instagram, YouTube, content, marketing. Um, and due to the fact that I will be operating as a small business, I'll be spending around 3000 annually for insurance. Um, like I said, I will need to hire a lawyer. Um, so they, uh, they will also be on my payroll. Entertainment lawyers typically cost 250 to 500 per hour. So... That will be a big expense there, but they will handle the negotiations um, with the networks and also read the contracts. Um, my loss year one would be thirty-six million uh, seventy-one thousand eight hundred and seventy-four, and net income would be a hundred and forty-one million nine hundred and thirty-seven thousand four hundred and seventy-three. Um, in the first year, I'm operating cash negative until July. My cash flow statements um, all have a dramatic change during the month of July because that is when the show airs and royalty payments will begin. My break-even calculation in dollars is $38,463,272. And due to the fact that I'm not manufacturing a product, the cost of content creation is included in my content creator salary. So posting on platforms like YouTube is free, so there's no cost in distribution. 
Um, and by posting it on platforms like YouTube, I will be making money per view and I will be getting paid for sponsored ads, which is why I think that this business plan is so strong because I'll be utilizing cheap platforms by also money per view and sponsorships.